Welcome back. Joining us now is Dr. Bruce Ward of the BC Dental Association. Dr. Ward, welcome. Thank you. As we saw in our profile of the Person of the Week, Paul Carson, when we were uh, shooting his story, uh, he was in the midst of chemotherapy. How does that affect oral health? There's a profound effect um, on the health of the mouth by these cancer treatments, both radiation and chemotherapy. They can cause, they can cause many complications for patients that are very uncomfortable and unpleasant for them to deal with once the treatment starts. Uh, mouth sores, uh, swollen, and, swollen and painful tongue, bleeding gums, and very sensitive teeth can all arise as a function of, uh, of chemotherapy or, or radiation therapy. Is there any way to try and uh, avoid that, to try and minimize the possibility of those things occurring? Yeah, the best thing I think, the best thing is for the patient to sit down with their dentist before the treatment starts and tell them what's going on. Tell them they're going to be going through a course of cancer treatment. And mostly it's mostly what the dentist will do and make sure that there's no infections on the teeth, no infections of the gum. Because once the treatment starts, that we're, we're less able to fight the infections. And so you want to make sure you want to clear up all the infections in the mouth. You want to make sure the gums are in as good shape as they can be. You want to take care of all the decay that might be present. If there's teeth that are in really bad shape, they should probably come out before the treatment as opposed to during or after because it's much harder after or during treatment to take, to take, uh, to perform dental procedures in the, in the mouth of somebody who's undergoing this kind. I suspect for many people it seems like a very counterintuitive thing. If you're served with the news, you know, yes. you've got cancer, I don't think it's the first place people are going to go, geez, I better go see my dentist. No. And, and what's interesting, however, is once the treatment starts, some of the complications that come from the chemotherapy or the radiation can actually interfere with the patient's ability to continue with the treatment. If they get a very severe rash of mouth sores, they have difficulty swallowing, they have difficulty talking, very hard for them to eat and keep their strength up. So you want to make sure that the mouth's in as good shape as you can get it before you start. And I guess after a point, it's a, it's a bit of a guessing game because you can't uh, account for every eventuality. You have to do your best to help uh, a client, a patient prepare and then hope for the best. Absolutely. But the, the dentist and the oncologist can communicate with each other before treatment starts and the dentist can say, here's what we see in, the, in this patient's mouth. We know they're going in for chemotherapy. What is it that you as the oncologist would like to see before they start. I know that as a dentist what I want to see is that my patients in as good shape as they can be. No complications that may come up during the treatment, that, that their gums are in great shape, that there's no decay left to be filled, and that, and that everything possible is in place before the treatment starts so that they have a successful treatment. These are really important considerations. Thank you so much for telling us about them today. Thank you. Much appreciation Thanks. and uh, we'll be back in a moment. North of 49, a guide to the rest of your life.